Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to John Henry Ward about the girl from Plainville on Hulu. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, a show gets made, then a release date comes out, then a trailer, and then it's finally out. Has it hit you that we're kind of, like, it's out, basically? Like, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, um, it is a little weird. I still have, you know, I have more to do in this next episode, so I think I'll really feel that Yeah. Um, after this one. Um, I'm really interested to see how it looks. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really exciting to see it because, you know, we only filmed. So I, I'm one of I'm one of Michelle's friends. Yep. So I really don't didn't get to see any of the Conrad side of things. So yeah. That's what's fun about watching the show is it was almost like being on two different shows, and there were a few people who walked both lines of the story, but um, most people were on one half, either the Conrad side or the Michelle side. So it's so cool because I feel like a lot of shows are doing that now, where it's kind of tail the two shows, and it's literally like watching two different shows, and then there's times where it's like worlds collide you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> which is really cool yeah i, I want to know john what you knew about like the role or like what you knew about everything before you like when you got like before you got cast like did you audition for the role you got like what can you tell me about that yeah audition for the role i got as far as the case goes i i remember i was in college when it happened and um i heard a few things and i was like oh that sounds intense yeah. um and then i i did the audition um and then when i got a call back that's when i started to really dive in i you know read the esquire article um titled the girl from plain bill mm -hmm. um a and then i watched the documentary um and that's really when i i mean really got sucked in and i was like oh this would be an amazing project to be a part of and yeah then, absolutely True oh, crime, true crime. You know, you see it with like the podcast and everything. That is so huge right now. It's very popular. What's it like being on a show where you know the genre, uh, like of like true crime and all that, and the who done it is so big right now. Like, I'm curious about that. Like, the scale is so high for that stuff right now, John. Definitely. I mean, what I love about this show, I think it has sort of a unique. Um, true crime setup because it to me it doesn't feel as black and white. Yep. Um, it feels a little more nuanced. There's no there's no big thing at the end where there's no big reveal that it, it was this person and everyone thought it was this person or like this is the person to blame or this is um you know, something the pub I mean, I guess it in some ways it is revealing things the public doesn't know. But I think while a lot of true crime takes you sort of to like one conclusion, I don't know if this show will Yeah will for everyone. Well, it's 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 an interesting thing too, because I feel like and you can relate what I'm about to say to like the comic book and the Marvel stuff too. I feel like these stories and are like there's so much to these stories. Like you could take a true crime podcast and they bring up like someone that was there for a little bit, like part of like a car crash or something. And then you can make like a, you can do research about that person, even though that person's not kind of the focal point of the whole crime. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's so layered. Do you, do you know what I mean by, I feel like it's very layered. I mean, the number of characters in this series are insane. There's, so many people involved yeah um because i i mean i think you know the show tries to show how each of those characters influence the you know the two main characters absolutely what was it like kind of working with this cast i mean i remember it was like announced who was going to be like involved with it it was just kind of like Oh, I know that name. I also know that name. Oh, I also know that name. You know what I mean? So what was it like working with this cast specifically? Um, it was great. I mean, most of my, I mean, all of my scenes are with Elle. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Elle is incredible. I mean, we did 
we have a scene in the in the hallway in episode five in the school hallway and you know her and i were just chatting and then she just dropped right into it and did it and you know i wish the camera had been on me because i was just like tearing up she's tearing up i was like <laughs> here i am crying crying in the hallway <laughs> i know it's crazy john henry ward is a storyteller that's what you do basically what excites you about storytelling john <laughs> I, love um, the way, I love the sorry i love, I love that facial expression just now you're like yeah yeah true yeah <laughs> sure, yeah um <laughs> what excites me i mean specifically with this you know adrian i i think is really important in this story yeah um he's sort of the last person that michelle has mm. um the last person to reach out um when I was thinking about his role, you know, Adrian's queer and growing up in, like in high school and college, I always had, whenever I felt was feeling like, you know, on the outskirts of experiences, when I was feeling othered, like emotionally or, for my own experiences or whatever, there was always a queer person there to listen to me, see me, um, and empathize with me. Yep. Um, and I think that's really with, you know, every character I do, I'd really try and bring that empathy, you know? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's a very, and... very good way of, doing, of, of looking at it for sure. Um, I find it one of those things too, where, it, it's one of those things, too, where there's so much kind of happening in a lot of shows right now. And I feel like, well, there's a lot of shows and there's a lot of opportunities for storytellers like you. And I think what ends up happening is there's like more opportunities for stories also that weren't told before to finally get Definitely. told. Do you know what I mean by that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Which, but, what do you think about that? It's pretty crazy. It's pretty great. It's a little overwhelming at times. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, because I feel like now everyone has their own niche with you know this, each streaming service has their own thing and trying to keep up keeping try to keep trying to keep up with it uh, can get a little a little stressful but being able to tell these more specific stories um more nuanced things i think is ultimately a really good thing oh absolutely no for sure um thank you so much for your time man it was really really great chatting with you about uh, the girl from plainville i mean it's gonna be a hulu people are checking that out so it's it's great for you uh it's it's great to hear about the fact that your character is going to have more stuff i mean it's 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 exciting for you i'm sure to kind of see that week by week right definitely yeah absolutely so where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything um you can follow me on instagram john henry dot w yep um and that, that's it. Please follow me. Amazing. <laughs> well, this has been Pop Turn at youtube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's John Henry Ward and PD Beats signing off. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.